Yeah, it is kind of interesting, and, and we're not that far out is what it sounds like. You know, the folks who are pushing for more drone deliveries, they say it'll alleviate traffic, improve air quality, and while some state transportation officials cited some safety or privacy concerns today, they also learned the future is here. It's not science fiction, it's already happening through pilot projects across the U.S. Medical supplies delivered by drones in Ohio and a Southern California mini mall offering neighboring communities aerial deliveries of beer. All the same issues you have with on the ground is how do we apply that to the air? State transportation commissioners heard a presentation from Michael Helander, CEO of Airspace Link, a company that's plotting out those aerial highway test routes. He says states and local jurisdictions need to lay out the groundwork for where and how drones can make deliveries because in just a few years, they'll become common, even though they seem unbelievable today. Now, the first time you hear a car when you had a horse, that was a big deal to hear a car come by. Uh, it's going to be the same adoption, and that is why we are very conscious of working with cities and counties uh, up front to start to introduce them slowly. But the executive director of the Transportation Commission says any drone highway guidelines in Washington are years away. There's a lot of, you know, site issues, city ordinances, laws, and all that coordination is going to be complicated just to make sure the public feels comfortable because that's also kind of a huge issue is, you know, do I know that drone flying over my house isn't recording? Is it coming by my window? So we have about 40 data sets, land use, zoning, schools, hospitals, uh, you know, number of lanes population densities hourly, so the routes change throughout the day. Helander says companies are well aware of the privacy and safety concerns and are open to working with governmental agencies so the skies don't become the Wild West, something at least one of the transportation commissioners agreed with. I believe as a commission we need to be looking 20 years to the future and, and, and know that that's what's coming. The Transportation Commission will likely pass on recommendations to legislators who will set up some future rules and regulations. Now, you heard that commissioner mention 20 years. I asked the CEO, what are we talking about 20 years down the road? He said, we'll be way past prescriptions or beer or pizza. He says people will be able to call for drones and get delivered in unmanned aircrafts to places like Seahawks games or SeaTac Airport, taking people off the road. We'll see. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.